Hi, my name is Matt Wadsworth, and in the next four minutes I'm going to discuss with you how much the average domestic case costs with our firm. Yeah, it's a common question for us to get asked how much their divorce is going to cost them. Um, it's one of the initial questions we get asked. Every time we have a new client consult, they want to um, have an answer to that question. It's difficult for us to answer because the unknowns in the case. Uh, generally speaking, if you're going to run a, a li any litigation case or a divorce case, a domestic case, through the same structure, you're, you're going to have a range of costs. But that range is going to be dependent on a number of different factors within a divorce case, and there are some idiosyncrasies within the divorce case that make it different than any other litigation case. One being that you're required to mediate in a divorce case. That can happen initially, it can happen right out of the chute, it can happen uh, six months down the road, it can happen on the eve of trial. But it is a requirement under Utah law to mediate any domestic litigation case. The reason why that presents an issue is because it's expensive, frankly. Uh, you're gonna be paying for your attorney at least for probably an eight hour day um, that's a significant amount of money. The other issue to consider is you're also going to be paying for the mediator. That can run in anywhere between from a cost to you of $100 to $150 an hour. And so that's another cost to consider. And not all mediators are the same. And some are better than others. On the higher end, you're going to be often running into judges. Um, who are going to have a lot of expertise on a, even domestic cases. You know, even half of the cases that are in our court system are domestic cases. And that, so, I mean, judges are doing a lot of domestic trials all the time. They deal with it on a constant basis. Your other costs to consider are litigation costs. And so what we refer to as attorneys as dis the discovery phase. Um, that can consist of subpoenas. It can consist of deposition costs. It can consist of um, going to an actual house and taking pictures. And so you have to pay for a photographer to come, perhaps, or and obviously the attorney's going to be there. Uh, you may have to take out your day. What I generally tell people when they ask me that question is we just talk about their initial retainer and what that will generally get them. And that you, people are able to grasp uh, that concept. Um, and our initial retainer is designed to get every client, um, almost no matter the issues, um, at least through the initial pleading stage, which is, consists of your complaint, petition, answer, um, whether or not you're going to do a counter petition and ask for additional items, and then also through um, the initial discovery phase, at the very least. In domestic cases, we have front-loaded uh, discovery like I just spoke about. And this was done on purpose. It happened a few years ago. Um, it, attorneys in our infinite wisdom decided that we were going to affirmatively start disclosing things in uh, domestic cases and also in tort cases. And so let me give you an example. In any domestic case, whether or not it be an initial petition or a petition to modify, um, each party has an affirmative duty to offer up certain items, such as 12 months of pay stubs the, you know, immediately preceding the filing. Uh, they're required to offer up three months of bank, uh, bank statements. They're required to offer up any loan applications that they file within the year before. Um, and we do these things in an effort to actually try to make the case cheaper. And so right out of the chute, we want at least this initial phase to be done and it really is a, is a great way to tee up the case for mediation so that people know what the other party at least alleges that they own and have so that we can um, have a meaningful discussion about how to resolve your case. And generally, our average domestic case costs between three and $5,000. If you found this information informative or you have other questions, we have a catalog of videos that are there to answer some of the most common questions that we have in domestic litigation cases. Feel free to contact us at my personal email, uh, wadsworth at arnoldwadsworth.com. You can also reach my partner at arnold at arnoldwadsworth.com or you can 
um, feel free to call us anytime.